What's going on everybody? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports back with a brand new video today and it's been a while since I've done a new Puma review so here we go. What's going on everybody? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports and before we begin Please hit that subscribe button. There's a lot of you who've seen my content. I need to get this channel bigger and I can only do that with your support. So please hit the bell, hit the subscribe button and let's get into the video. So I've had a ton of people ask me to do reviews on the new Puma boots. It's been a while since I've been able to get my hands on them, but I finally picked up a few pairs of Puma boots. We are going to review the first pair today. I'm super excited about them because it's a shoe that I have. It's a shoe that I love. Let's get into it. The brand new Puma Future. 6.1 and I do it with this funny reaction because it's absolutely no different than the 5.1 and unfortunately it seems like it might be the last of this version of the Puma Future. I've done a recent video, you can check it out up here on the right hand corner if you're interested on the new Puma Future Z and my first initial thoughts on that boot and I'm not very excited about it I'm a little disappointed about it to be honest because it means we lose this one and I'm a huge fan of this one and I don't think that this new boot is going to be that good. Now I'm saying this without actually having it, I'm judging the boot before it's out, I know, but from the press release and from all the information that we have, I'm not too sure about it. Anyways, if you're interested in checking that video out, be sure to click up here in the right hand corner to check it out. But let's get into the unboxing review and on feet. So, Puma box, slide the thing the lid open and of course you have that card that tells you how to use the NetFit system and boom. These are sick. I really like these. I love pink boots and when they're a nice bright in your face pop of pink, I like it. You do get a pair of black laces. Puma Future 6.1. Like I said, no difference compared to the 5.1. Now this is a boot I have. I've done a review on the Spark Pack Collection Drop that released earlier this year, and I'm a huge fan of them. I like the collar, it's not too high, but it does give you this nice kind of wrap around your foot. I'm a huge fan of the upper, it's the best upper that they've ever released in a Puma Future, and I really like the sole plate as well, absolutely no complaints there. The studs are just a fraction long compared to some other brands, but it doesn't pose too much of a problem. They are conical, so they allow you to pivot, subtracting from these four at least. So I'm a huge fan of the sole plate, no problems there, and the huge selling point of this boot really is that upper. That Evo knit material, that upper material is really, really well put together. They've integrated the net fit system quite uniquely, I think, as well, so you can kind of tweak the laces ever so slightly. You can use some of these dots that you see here to loop the laces through and really dial in the way you want that boot to fit. So it's a cool feature. I personally suggest that you play with it the first time, get your boot on, then kind of undo the laces and find where you think the laces feel best for your foot. And once you've dialed it in, I don't think there's really that much of a need to mess with it, but at least it does give you that option to customize it from right out of the box, which is really cool. Now, like I said, the upper really is the selling point. You have that Evo knit material, and they do coat it with this really unique kind of waxy feel, which I actually like. It does add a touch of grip to the ball, and it does feel really, really good, and it wears good. I can say that from experience. The, the boot really wears in and softens up and really wears nicely, and I'm just a huge fan of the Puma Future. If you have wide feet, you can fit into them, and if you have any other foot type, you can fit into it as well because you can dial in the laces and you can make it fit the way you need it to fit. So that's really, really good. And again, the collar, it just helps the boot with its overall feel. It's not too high, it doesn't get in the way, and it just gives you this nice locked in feel. Let's slip these things on and we'll talk about fit and feel. So the Puma Future fits really well from right out of the box. I would suggest going true to size. For those that have a narrow foot, you might feel like they're a little bit big. They're not big, they're just roomier because they have a wide last. So wide-footed people can get into them really, really well. If you have a narrow foot, I still think they'll be good for you. You just might have to play with that net fit system a little bit. You have the option to kind of make the laces wrap your foot better and a little bit tighter and just give you the lockdown that you need. So I still think it's a boot that can fit a lot of different people because of that net fit system. But for wide-footed people, it is good news because it's a very good boot for wide-footed people. 
Again, the fit and feel just feels really good. I like the toe box, I like the midfoot, I like the collar, I don't think it's too tight, and it just gives you that added sense of lockdown. And I really like the upper. It's super soft from right out of the box and it only gets softer. That little waxy coating provides just a nice little bit of grip on the ball and it does feel really, really good. It's a great boot and it's one that I'm really sad to see go because I'm not too sure about the new one and I really like this one. I think they have a winner here and I think that they should kind of keep this idea. And if they have an idea that can make it better, maybe go for that. But overall, this is a really, really good boot. So in some ways, I'm sad to see it go. But if you're interested in this Puma Future, be sure to pick this one up because you don't know if you're going to be able to get them again. So Puma Future 6.1, let's send it back to the desk and we'll wrap the video up. So there we have it guys, my review and on feet look at the Puma Future 6.1. I'm a huge fan of this boot. This is a video that I've really, really wanted to do for a long time because I love the colorway and number two, I love the boot. So I just think that this is a solid release. It's one of my favorites and I might say it's one of my favorites of 2020. Hint, there might be a video coming, but this is such a good boot and it's one that I really, really like. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please smash that like button. If you have any comments or questions, leave that down below as well. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification because I have a lot of great content coming and you don't want to miss out. Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports. I'm signing off for now. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.